Mary from the Pearl Bailey Library. Today I'm talking with Candace Cheshire. Hi, Hi. Candace. How Hi, doing? how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank um, you for having me. Yes. Um, as you know, I have some questions for you, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. Uh, tell us which branch do you work at? I work at the Grissom branch. All right. And how long have you worked there? Four years. I actually just passed my four year anniversary with Newport News Public Libraries. What was it? May 16th. Yeah, actually, I did too. I started a couple of weeks before you did. So, oh, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations to you as well. Thank you. All right. Um, so, uh, tell us about your favorite book. My favorite book is. Um, Rilla of Ingleside by L.M. Montgomery. I have read it dozens and dozens of times. I practically know it by heart now. Um, and it is about Rilla Blythe, who is the youngest daughter of Anne Shirley from the Anne of Green Gables series. And it covers uh, four years of her life during World War I. And, um, you know, she keeps a diary and you know, her older sisters and her brother Walter, they're off at Redmond College and her brother Shirley, he's off at Queens. And then her oldest brother is in, you know, the trenches and, you know, one by one, all the boys go off to war and she's at home. And it's just, you know, what she feels and, you know, the, the sacrifices that had to be made um, during that time, like, you know, for example, their yard has to be plowed up to plant potatoes for the cause and, you know, they're on food rations, you know, they can only use so much sugar, so much butter, that kind of thing. Um, and then their maid, Susan, she became very indignant when daylight savings time was enacted and she was like, well, you know, I'll do certain things on the government's time, but I'm I'm going to feed the chickens and, you know, I'm going to bed on God's time kind of thing. <laughs> so I don't, I can't really tell you why I love this book. I just really enjoy reading it. Yeah, I've, I've read some of the Anne of Green Gables books, but I've never read any of the Rilla books, so I'll have to check those out. Yeah, it's the, it's the very last book in the Anne of Green Gables series. It's just... You know, there's just that one book about her. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. All right, so let's talk about some fun questions. Okay. Uh, what are some of your favorite hobbies? Let's see. I love to read. That's probably very cliche coming from a librarian. Yes. That's a given, definitely. <laughs> um, I also, I really enjoy baking uh, over the winter I baked, oh, just like a cake every week. And of course they're all from scratch. And I think my favorite that I've made so far is a four layer red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. It is utterly decadent, but it is so good. Yes. And- I've uh, tried some of your baking and it is quite delicious. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I made a chocolate cake over the weekend with cream cheese, chocolate frosting, again, just, and I don't even like chocolate cake, but I love this chocolate cake. <laughs> and um, I also really enjoy painting. And what, what uh, do you paint? What's that? What do you paint? I paint all sorts of things, but I paint with oils. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm actually currently working on a winter sort of woods scene. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I, I tried the Bob Ross method one time and it turned out really well, but that's pretty <laughs> much my only attempt at painting. Oh, I took uh, a couple painting classes in college and I, I absolutely love it. At least oil painting. I've never tried you know, watercolors or anything like that, but all my art is hanging around my house. <laughs> yeah, it's very relaxing. It is. It is uh, yeah. when it goes right. And then, you know, when you mess up and it's like, oh gosh, you have to, you know, yeah. kind of 
let it dry and then paint over it and let that dry and then start again. But yes, I really do very much enjoy it. And I've certainly had more time to devote to it lately. Yes, yes. and probably had more need of relaxation lately too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Luckily, it's been going well. Haven't had too many do-overs. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. All right, so tell us, what is your favorite animal? I love manatees. Cool. That's a very unique choice. It, it is. It is. But I, they're just so cute and sweet. And I guess they're not really cuddly because you're not allowed to touch them. But yeah. I do. I, I love manatees. And my daughter and I actually went to Florida um, this past February. And we went swimming with the manatees. And that was an incredible experience. Yeah, wow, I can imagine. Um, yeah, you... it, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, it just, it. I mean, the water was freezing cold, literally, like you hyperventilated when you got in the water. And she lasted, you know, all of 15, 20 minutes, and then she got back in the heated boat. And so I felt compelled to get back in the boat, too, <laughs> rather than just leave her up there. But um, I think I probably had, we probably had a better time sitting on the boat than being in that water because I have this thing about um, dark water. And when I had made the reservation, I specifically had said to the woman, is the water clear? And she said, oh yeah, the water's, the water's fine. It's clear, you know, you can see through it. Well, you can see through it at three feet. When you get <laughs> down into the nine and 12 feet, it's not so clear anymore. And there's something very startling about, you know, this multi-thousand pound animal that just kind of suddenly rises up next to you because you got your face down in the water with the goggles looking for and then you know this manatee pops up next to you so right. I was much happier to observe from the boat where the captain's like oh there's one and there's one and oh here mom with her baby's coming up over here so that was fun <laughs> yes and much much safer that way too Definitely less um, heart pounding. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Mm. And you're you're probably familiar with the uh, the John Lithgow book. I'm a manatee. Yes. Have you heard of that one? That's a cute one. Yeah, it is. It's really adorable. Yep. All right. So, where have you always wanted to visit? I have always wanted to visit out west, um, see the Grand Canyon and the Painted Desert and I don't know, the, uh, you know, the sequoias in California, that sort of thing. I mean, I've been up and down the East Coast, but I've never really gotten any further out than that. Yeah, yeah, we do have an amazing country, lots of wonderful things to see out there. Yeah, we do. So maybe, maybe one day. Definitely. You'll have to make a plan. I will try to. <laughs> I don't know. And perhaps it's also, I don't know, when I read, um, and I'm sure lots of people also have uh, thought about this, but when I read the book Wild by Cheryl Strayed, I'm like, oh, yeah. I would really love to hike on the Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah. But I think you have to do that during summer, and we have summer reading, so I don't know <laughs> um, yes. when that plan will take place. Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe, yeah, maybe someday. Yeah, and maybe not the whole thing, because it's like 3,000 miles. Maybe just a little piece of it. <laughs> well, I think I would be lucky to make it the 20 miles, but I don't know. I had this idea of when my daughter gets a little older, we'll go out there together. We'll see. Yeah. That'd be awesome. All right, so if you had a million dollars, what would you do first? Pay off my student loans. Oh my gosh. Yes, <laughs> debt is the worst. <laughs> yes, it it really is. I, I'm happy that I've gotten, you know, my bachelor's degree loan, that's paid off, but then I have my two master's degrees that I'm still paying on and will be for a long time. So yeah. yes, if I had any spare money, that would be the first thing that I would do. And then once you get that paid off, then you could plan that trip out west. That's true. Oh, that's a good idea. 
I don't know. I think I would be compelled to then, you know, pay off the mortgage and the car payment. And then maybe after all those things were paid off, then the trip out west. Yeah. Yep. So step one, pay off your debts. Step two, trip out west. Yes. Okay. There that sounds go. like a good plan. There you go. Just got to win that million dollars. And first I would have to start playing the lottery. So. And, and that too. <laughs> or some maybe rich I'll... uncle will find you and bequeath you a million dollars. Well, maybe I'll start, you know, drop by the store and pick up some scratchers today or something. There you go. It's a sign. Yes. <laughs> this is your moment. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today, Candace. Well, thank you for having me. Sure. And hopefully soon we will all be back in the library where we can come and visit you. Yes. Keeping my fingers crossed. Yes. All right. Well, until then, take care. Thank and you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.